and we're back, baby. No sip on the cheers. I noted that. No, it's fine. You don't have to correct it. Just know it was noted. I don't. I, I don't know anything. I don't know what that means. I do know if you don't look someone in the eye when you cheers them, you've probably poisoned their beverage. I think this would be a bad podcast eye. overall. Yeah, I mean, this also, how do you look someone in the eyes with polarized sunglasses? I don't know where to look. I don't think these are polarized. I think those are, are those are polarized. Well, I think polarized has something to do with like. If a polarized glasses, oh, right, right. You they're, they're, see reflective. they're reflective. They're reflective, but it's not just, like these are gas station specials, baby. Yeah. This is seven ninety nine. I was in a pinch. Yeah, polarized is like a is like a process of like tempering glass. It's definitely not something they did. Yeah, these are not with ten dollars <laughs> no, sunglasses. Look I look like a fucking. What do I? I mean, I feel like uh, these are uh, like I'm going for a shortstop look. Yeah, but it's just you look. Not you bad. look like a really good like umpire. You got a good umpire look, uh, dude. I have a mean strike three. I'm not gonna do it here because you really yeah. got to get me hyped up for it. But I have a mean strike three. Really, dude? I would love to be the umpire. Like, actually, what I'm like trying a little to do, league umpire, like like a really serious little league umpire. Serious. I want. Ooh. I want. Uh, I want like a father of three to be kicking dirt on my <laughs> just shin. A, just a drunk, yeah. not even, a buzzed father of three. We've been talking about around. that, dude. If I had kids now, like if you and me had kids, we would just be getting fucked up at a softball. It'd game. be so sick. Dude. Yeah, it'd be. It'd be. Um, Borderline uh, irresponsible. Did you have that at your games? Did you ever have a dad? I had a boozy. F- yeah, I had a father. No, I meant like not <laughs> your not your dad specifically. <laughs> yeah, but like with your oh team. My well, my dad got kicked out of the have, park. Oh, your dad. My dad, did? my dad got kicked out of the park. Once. Oh, your dad was that dad. Well, one time he had a one time there was a uh, situation on the field where like the other coach touched me. Whoa. And Papa was like, hell no, dude. There's only you'll, you'll touch my only, son. It's only me and the priest that can touch this kid. <laughs> <laughs> only two people on earth touch my yeah, son. And Jesus Christ. And it's not back. even himself. Exactly. Yeah, I'm not allowed. I've never. That was a standard in my household. No masturbation. <laughs> Dad came in and did it for me. If that's be. good. Yeah. Oh, that's that's not that's <laughs> never mind. I didn't yeah. hear the rest of that sentence. But uh, I don't know, man. It's good to be here. You're not a morning fella, so are you are you adapting? <laughs> how we how we feel it? You Dude, have, I have I have dark circles right now. I believe at midnight last night I approached you at the bar <laughs> and said, "Hey, Egan, what are you doing at nine tomorrow? I'd love to have you on the dogs." Last night. At midnight, you asked me to do the podcast. You were dedicated. S- you were like, dude, I have to go home. And now. I said, yes, so I left. I left, and I <laughs> went <left>? home <laughs> to get sleep. Dude, come on. My guy. Again, By the way, we got uh, Brandon Lejean on the ones and twos. He's back there. Yo, 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 yo. Let I me mean, say something so they know. I did. I oh, just okay. think that I'm dude, so, like, he, hey, can you hear me? Because I'm trying to get the whole. I can hear you now. Really die a friend. That's, so that's the thing. I want to make sure I'm not screaming yeah. in the Don't listeners' ears. Don't be afraid. You're projecting well. You, know well. you yeah, need to hear me, too. So I'll just sit at this distance, yeah, and then everyone good. can hear me. Yeah, yeah we're he, doing. He, got a, he has wisdom teeth removed. Don't, don't ask too much. Oh, that's time. another thing. Bra- he's planning yeah. on an injury. We, he's day-to-day on the roster I'm right now. I'm off the hydro right now, dude. I'm, yeah. I'm feeling crazy. <laughs> the, per- the perkies have been calling. What yeah. do you got any substance? I'm cranking. I'm Matty Addy right now. I got a quarter Adderall. Dude, really? I just oh, dude. pumping in my brain right Dog, now. Dog, see, I that's, with a quarter. Yeah, that's what I, you should have offered that last night. It's like, hey, I know it's midnight, and I you, know I'm having you wake up early in the morning. Not really that early. At a normal time in the morning. Yeah, it just podcast. so happens I have a jar <laughs> here, full of the super drug. Here's, <laughs> the exact, here's the limitless drug. Yeah. Here's the <laughs> solution for the problem I'm inviting you to have in the morning. But, but instead, but no. instead, I have brought a, a two-liter bottle of piss. Which is the trashiest thing. You Walking around with a two-liter bottle of Arizona green tea. This is not Arizona, dude. It might as well be. The second you hit a liter... It's the same recipe. This is uh, Ito N. It doesn't make it better. In fact, maybe even worse. I think Arizona is a more reputable. <laughs> no, this is repu- This is like the Arizona of Japan, dude. I do. Which actually, kind of bad. That's kind of worse, actually. <laughs> the Arizona of Japan, <laughs> dude. It's I. I can't even. I mean, the the J- Japanese rising sun in the desert. I can see it now. Oi ucha. Okay. Ito N. Well, we'll clean that up in post. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, that out, no, dude. please, no, please, uh, appropriate. Edit, edit that communist propaganda out in post. Let's see. I gotta. Um, but anyway, dude. So I, I'm. I'm glad you're here. I'm a big morning guy, and I love people yeah. that aren't the classic morning guys coming out. Here's the thing. This podcast drops on Thursday nights. But if you're a real fan, I think you. I, this we, we're bringing morning energy. Download on Thursday night. Listen Friday morning. This part. We we might have a third guest here. You don't know. It's a. It's a mystery situation. Dave Chappelle called in, so we'll see who we can get. Yeah. But uh, no, dude. The AMs. Are you a coffee guy? Usually, yeah. So the the tea the tea's a new thing. And you uh, just hit like a four day fast recently, right? How did that make you yeah. feel? Was it four days? It wasn't it wasn't good. I uh yeah, I did a well, I'd been researching fasting and um so I did a four day water fast. But then also so it's supposed to have like all these mental benefits, like mental clarity, whatever, like resets your body. And like my dumbass, I thought it'd be a good time to also get off nicotine. It's a bad move. So yeah, like day two, they're like, Oh, you're gonna start getting some mental clarity benefits. Oh, but like 
day two fast was day two withdrawals of nicotine. So just nausea and headaches the whole time. You want a rogue pass? Dude, if I have a ro- that would be an Adderall for me right really? now. Really? Well, you take one if you want one. It's there. It's, I didn't just, what do you think I whipped it out of my pocket for? Now that's, now that's a good <laughs> clip if I take that. Dude, if I take that. Stop Ooh. enabling him, Matty. He was just bragging about how he quit. And I like, quit like two dog? weeks ago. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, Dude, here you go. Take oh, that. Okay, I, mi- I misunderstood. I thought you said you were taking a break. I'm taking a break, but I I want to get I want to use it to write, not for uh yeah, not for not for this podcast. Dude. Yeah, okay, Come not on. for this, not for this podcast that could potentially change your life. Dude, you're about to get the captain's dog pumped. You're gonna leave here. Say- you're gonna wake up in the morning and and be be. They're going to take away the, the, the verification on Instagram that you paid for and give you another one that you've earned. They might just do that because, like, I have been making payments on that. <laughs> the payments. <laughs> dude. You take a loan to get no, a fucking I check? Like, I like <laughs> yeah, the card. making payments on my Twitter check. Dude. The card on my on my, uh, on my my phone is, like, is expired. So it's just like, we have not been able to process this $15. Tr- it's only 15 bucks a month. Yeah. You know? But I, I want I, Hulu Premium or... For people to think I'm important, well, for people to think I'm gay. Or <laughs> do I want gas money? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I feel you. Uh, yeah, I mean, in 2023, you probably want people to think you're gay. That's Yeah. In, in 2008, when we were youths, that was the wrong move. But now, I think the gays are going straight to the top, and they deserve it. Mm-hmm. Gays and the blacks, dude, send them to the moon. That'd oh, be fun, sure. right? Just to, <laughs> if we sent a couple black people and a couple gays to the moon. Imagine the content. That would be because what do we know? What do yeah, we know about send, these two send, up, send up David Dobrik up there just to vlog it all, you know. And I want to say these are two people that don't necessarily like the cold. Can we get yeah. a fact check on that. Gays and blacks. Do they like the cold? <laughs> can we get can we get some stats I on that? Please? Google I don't says think black people they like hate the cold. it. Says there. It says they hate. It says all gays hate the cold, and black people really hate the cold. All right. Google's so moon, words. We'll send them to Mars. I don't want to. We won't send them to the moon. That doesn't seem like the place for them. Well, I'm gonna be honest. You know. Homosexuality is not super welcomed in the black community. They might segregate the moon as soon as they get there. Like there might be a gay half and a black half of the moon. Yeah, there's a dark side of the moon. Everyone knows that. Ah. Boom. <laughs> Boom. Boom. And that's why you're here. And it, who's you don't need the Adderall, dude. Yeah, I don't even need. I don't need the nicotine. Just to I need keep up with you right now. I, need I don't need. The, I need the eight hours of sleep. No, you don't need the eight hours of sleep. I haven't gotten eight hours of sleep since the Chum Famine of '57, dude. And I don't even know if that's a thing. I don't even know what that is. But neither do I. You just made that up. I think I subconsciously pulled that from a SpongeBob quote. Oh, nice. Yeah. Chum? Okay. Yeah, but uh, dude, I just I'm not sleeping, and it's a real problem. What it's a, a re- what a reference, Matty. Dude, like Chum, the Chum Famine of '59 immediately came up, and it <laughs> is from SpongeBob. You got the year correct. I think I, I you guys, are, I'm gonna be humble here. I think I said '57. Did you say '57? Either way, bets a fucking. I mean, if, still, yeah. If you could ballpark the Chum Famine, dude. '59, '57, totally. Bro, different. it's such a scene. It's like it's like someone walks up to SpongeBob. No, I'll quote and they, it right here. Yeah, Take Mr. Grab. Taking a break. No one's taking a break at the Krusty Krabs. It's the Chum Famine of '59. <laughs> yeah. Is that it. Is that it? Yeah, that's a, that, yeah, that's exactly it. And it's we're in the good. SpongeBob really video game too. Hey, what's going on with fucking Lana Del Rey working at Waffle House? Do we know uh, what's up with this? Is this a gag? So I've only I've only heard about that like anecdotal. I've only heard about that from like I saw the article. I didn't read it. I didn't well, know what that is. Yeah, I saw someone say it to me recently, and then this morning I went on her Instagram. Sure enough, she's pouring coffee at a Waffle House. She's, she's she's like she's doing research for an album and then <laughs> for for a role yeah yeah we need we need, we need you to we need you to ash your cigarette I mean, on the, the shit show. that's kind of the weird shit that artists will do it's like yeah I'm gonna go work at a Waffle House for a couple weeks yeah she goes back to see the what man- ideas I the can get like Lana that was really good but when you pour the coffee try calling them child that's what we do here or honey call them honey yeah yeah something like that don't be afraid to ash Sweetheart. your cigarette on their hash yeah. browns they <laughs> like it this is Waffle House and then I saw David Letterman. Bagging groceries at some Iowa grocery store. What are these fucking people doing? Do these celebrities is this a, is this a trend right now where they think if they put on an apron they just become relatable? They, they just they're like is this David Letterman's way of being an average person? This is this is their pastime. This, it's is, so, this is they're not real people. They, their pastimes are just pretending to be. To they're pretend, cosplaying. Put pretend to put eggs in a bag. As regular for the people. Day. Yeah. Jeez, dude, it's so yeah. They're cosplaying <laughs> as civilians. Like co- and like a bag boy. That's really usually something reserved for like uh, sometimes. You know, uh, people of the of the, uh, of the mentally handicapped community. Go. So yeah, the Letterman just I don't like this cosplaying, PC energy. Cosplaying as a Downs man. <laughs> cosplay as a Downs man bagging groceries. Yeah. and he should be canceled for that. You can't yeah. do Downs face. So yeah, dude, that's a that's a job he took from a Down syndrome guy. <laughs> dude, hey, I'm canceling <laughs> that's Letterman. That's cancelable, dude. What the fuck? 
How yeah, dare you, you? You raised some great points, How dude. How dare you do that? He's taking their jobs. <laughs> he, he, he took our jobs, dude. dude. He took our jobs, man. So what do you got over yeah, there? Our, our jobs, yeah, dude, yeah, we're, I mean, part, we're also part of that community. It's a spectrum. I just want to say, I have, and we've discussed it here to nauseum, I, I probably have half a chromie, an extra chromie. Half. Yeah. Because I got ADD, dyslexia, OCD, ADHD. You don't have full chromie, but you definitely got a I fraction got, of a chromie. I've got segments of a bunch of different chromes. Yeah. You know? Chromosome disease. What do you, Did you have something for us? Uh, yeah, so uh, Lana Del Rey was working there for, they believe, a music video. There's not a whole... Of course she was. There's not a reason why. Like, no one knows yet, but she wasn't wearing a uniform with her name on it, so people think it's a music video. And then Letterman's was just that, like, he bagged groceries in, like, 48, so they were like, dude, what if you, like, went back to your roots? And it was his way yeah, of going out back of to his roots or some bullshit. So just cosplaying as a special needs person, like you said. Dude, if I make it one day and someone approaches me and says, hey, we need you to get in the back of this cop car with bloodshot eyes and a little bit of weed in your back pocket just so you can relive the old days, I'd tell them to go fuck off. All right? I'm out of that life. Don't also, come back and make me bad groceries. Because I... Was he from Iowa? Where's this guy from? Uh, yeah, that's where he was, like, from. He got, you know, know. How do we feel about Letterman? Are you a Letterman guy? I've never, I've never understood people are like, oh, he's, like, the best talk show host. Nah, I'm like, I've never once watched his... Show, yeah, no. His his honestly, the gap in his teeth always kind of threw me Gets off. Gets you, huh? That always kind of was like, I don't, li I don't want to watch that. Stray hands, another guy. I don't care about your athletic accolades, yeah. dude. Fix the fix the grill, fix, dude. You're so rich. Why not, why haven't you fixed your Invisalign? There is something cool about that, though, right? When someone yeah. makes it and they're like, I don't give a fuck. It's like yeah, they got the the London look, you know? Yeah. Remember those commercials where it's like. That chick with the buck teeth is like, get the London look. Yeah, the, the <laughs> yeah, London. I do Ew, remember Get some that. braces. What, are you telling me to get rid of my medical insurance? <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? You know, in Japan, this is, gonna, this is going to be racist. But in Japan, they don't have the best. They have awful dental care. They don't have the best dental care. Yeah, so That's when we would go over, and they don't smile with their teeth because of that, a lot of them. Yeah. And so when we would go over there, we would do what we would call the apple test. Basically, you <laughs> chuck an apple at their face, and if it sticks, they failed. <laughs> Oh, is it like if like a tooth is sticking out, dude? You just huck a Granny Smith right at their mouth, dude. If it bounces off, they're in. They're good. But if it sticks, or uh, as they would say, that's a it's you know apple in Japanese. That's a Ringo. That's the Japanese word for dude. I'm drinking fucking Japanese green. You think I don't know a couple Japanese vocab words? <laughs> Japanese vocab, dude. I have a pen. I have an apple. Apple pen. You guys are looking at me. You, is this ringing a bell? Okay. Yeah. Okay. It really came together in the end there, huh? The buildup wasn't doing it for you, but when I put them together, you got it. I like that. Um, God, dude, this this uh, Adderall gets my mind thinking faster than my brain. Yeah, I, I just can't believe you didn't you didn't share the wealth. No, I need to stop talking about it. Really, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, at this point, it feels yeah, like I'm dude, rubbing I'm, it in a little. You're about to be getting like texts from me like all the time, just like, "Yo, what up, Maddie? Let's hang out." Do you? Uh, By the way, where the Addy's at? You think I could bark for some Adderall? <laughs> dude, <though? laughs> Yo, low key, wasn't even thinking about that. Could I Addy, though? Addy, like, Addy, I totally Addy, do Addy, that. Addy, 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 monks, Addy. dude, I'll, I'll, I'll they, um, bark for monks. Do you remember, like, I want to say like four years ago, like the Latina, uh, like hip hop mix music started coming hot on the airways, like the bat, your bad bunnies, and your uh, there's another guy, isn't it? What's the, that's called um what's what's the it's reggaeton right isn't that I don't like think the, that's reggaeton is that not reggaeton do we have a genre on Bad Bunny I'll find out real quick hold on J Balvin is the other one I'm thinking of so that guy it's crazy how huge he is I haven't heard a single song hey by the way Bad Bunny J Balvin same guy yeah I mean no but what? dude I mean I didn't know who Bad Bunny was I, I watched Bullet Train oh he acted in that and he was I was Phenomenal. like oh I was like I like this like Hispanic dude who's this yeah. guy and it's like Bad Bunny it's like that's him like. Yeah, and dude. I know some Latina like, chicks dude who looks, are obsessed with him. I'm like, I get looks, it. But I was looking at him like, this dude kind of looks hard. <laughs> He's uh, I'm going with Bad Bunny, dude. I know it's it's. I thought Bad Bunny was um, I kept getting confused with the the Cash Me Outside girl, Bad Bad, bad, bad baby. baby, Bad Baby. I'm like, oh, it's the same. Is that the same person? It's uh, his music is reggaeton and Latin trap. Right. All right. I don't, I don't know what I would have said mariachi, but. As we've established, forty-five I seconds ago, I'm racist. What is what is that? What is that? Uh, that like Hispanic music, where it's like the genre hasn't changed in like sixty years. Like, like mariachi. Yeah. Like 
Yeah. You hear it on the radio still, and it's like, whoa, this, yeah, this it's, is a timeless genre. It's like every mariachi band, I think, has the same tuba player. He just, he just <laughs> goes state to state and just fills in. It's like it's like in California. You turn the radio to a certain station, and you start. You just get those songs. It's exclusive. always fuzzy, though. Yeah, it's you a, know, it's it never, never comes through Even clear. next to the radio station, it's, it's yeah, probably the fuzziest it's like, there. <laughs> a little La Cucaracha in there in the mix. I like it, yeah. But what I'm getting at is I've officially come around to this shit. I hear it, I get it. I got yeah. an Uber driver the other day, and it was just like some Hispanic hip-hop. I don't... Because you get to be creative. I'm like writing my own story in my head. I have no idea what they're saying. Yeah, when you don't know the lyrics, when you don't know the language of the lyrics, you just have to go with like how they say the words and yeah. the whole vibe of the song. You're like, oh, yeah, I like this song. And yeah, you find out like, weird. whoa, this was about rape the whole time? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's like... Maybe maybe I thought it was about love. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you know, go a little easier on the maracas and the rape song. Right? <laughs> I don't want to be moving my hips so. Maybe much. don't go a little easier. On the yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's funny. But yeah, I'm 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 kind of what, what 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 genre of music? What are you listening to? Give me a hot wreck. You got a wreck? A hot wreck. Uh, I mean, what? Tell me more about your own taste, and then I think <laughs> I give it a good hot are wreck. You selling me a car? Yeah. Jesus. Uh, I like uh, low gas mileage. No, I uh, right now. I've have been in this huge phase of just listening to like, like black dudes from the '60s and the '70s. Okay. Otis Redding. Bill oh, Withers. so that that that's, that song I sent you earlier was like. Spot yeah, it was on. perfect. That yeah. was perfect. Um, let's see. A that was Sam and Dave. Yeah. Hold a on, I'm um, coming. I mean, this is a song I listened to on the way here, which I mean, you probably already know it, but James Brown classic. Um, down and out in New York City. Yeah, I mean, that's a good. What one. a James what a Brown has some deep cuts, dude. Dude, that, that that's like now. a cut that you don't really even see a lot. No, especially um, when it's dark. But let me see. Uh, there's ooh. Do you know who Wilson Pickett is? No, that one didn't hit. Uh, no, I don't know who Wilson Pickett okay, is. Okay, Wilson Pickett. Uh, he has that song "Land of a Thousand Dances." You know, na 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 na. You can't see, but our producer's bopping his head a little. Yeah. So that artist, he's got a song called "It's Harder Now." I want you to look up It's Harder Now Penis by Wilson song? Pickett. No, no, no. It's it, To me, it, it sounds like it could be like the blues song at the beginning of some show about a comedian's life. It's basically, it could be, you could take this and put it at the beginning of Louie. It's just a good intro. And that's, it's a good intro. It's a good little kind of blues big, intro. Big intro guy, and, and people yeah. do know that about me. Yeah, right. this song sounds sad as fuck. I'm reading the lyrics. It used to be easy to mess up my mind, but it's harder now. It used to be easy to take up my time, but it's harder now. I used to be an open book. Anyone could have a look. You just took all you took, but it's harder now. Yeah, dude, that's the Wait, blues. No, this that's is, the blues, dog. Uh, it's also he's saying, like, yo, I used to be a pussy, but because you're bullshit, because of how much you suck, I'm a little tougher now. I yeah. can handle all this shit. This guy's basically like can't he's David me. Goggins before David Goggins. But yeah, this you is can't hurt me. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Who's going to carry the boat? <laughs> that's 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 all I'm hearing in that song. Yeah. Who's going to carry the boat? What else does he say? Keep running, f- pussy. Dude, he talks <laughs> he about like the boats and the luck. Keep running, <laughs> pussy. <laughs> he says David that Goggins your words <laughs> hurt more than a gun. They slip between your tongue, but this time the damage is done. Bars, dude. You thought uh, <laughs> you was the master of the game, but it's harder now. The thing is, like, he listens to this kind of stuff, so he's like, this sounds like a fire track. Yeah, I mean, I... I, I mean, when, you, when you speak the lyrics, it really sounds poetic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm giving you some word. just Let's slam see. poetry version. This is exactly how this black man, Wilson Pickett, wanted this song done yeah was a white man reading his lyrics with no rhythm whatsoever also kind of sounding it out struggling with the words a little yeah reading's not my special for a <laughs> producer i'm not great at words yeah <laughs> i know for a guy that really needs to read and in, into a microphone not your strong suit but, but but you keep that smile on your face dude you can stick around yeah we'll really get always. through it we'll get through it he, I see. I see you as like a young intern that I could just sexually harass and get away with, dude. That's why we have you on the team. That's all I've ever really wanted to be. To oh, be I honest. would love to be the secretary that gets to sleep her way to the top, dude. That's people you, say. That's wait, not young intern. Well, how old are you? Twenty six. Don't be so rude with your toe. No, I'm just saying. I feel like we're all around <laughs> the same age here. I'm like a young intern. Like what? I mean, I'm younger than Maddie. That's why he said oh. young. Yeah. Okay. I just turned 26 the other day. I'm basically 25, all right? So you need to <laughs> calm down over there. He's, he's still adjusting at 26. <laughs> yeah, I've just eaten. My I, I just, I just opened an old wound. Yeah. A new wound. New wounds. Brandon's parents didn't feed him Flintstone vitamins, so. They did not. This is what we're working with. 
an absolute unit of a man. Just crushing a G-Raid right now. Just Brandon, sucking sent, on the uh, nipple tip Gatorade. We got some fun, we got some fun animal news stories we, today, dude. I did read the headlines probably about 20 seconds ago. That's all right, like, dude. what the fuck? All right, you guys uh, want the otter one? All right. You, you guys are whipping out headlines, give him, dude? Give him, you I'm want that bad otters? of a guess. You're whipping out headlines. No, 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 no. We, we, do, oh, we do headlines God. in the middle and we get back to it, dude. I knew it. No, you, because I'm excited to talk about the animals, dude. You want otters or, or whales? Which what do you want? want uh, let's do whales. All right. All right. Headline. 78 pilot whales were slaughtered near a cruise ship carrying marine cons- conservationists. That, who that's did a, it? That was who a big did it? Was it? Was it the who we were talking about earlier? The Apple test? All right. So a, a cruise line is apologizing Probably. to passengers who witnessed the killing of dozens of pilot whales near their dock ship this week. Passengers were aboard the cruise ship when the spectacle began. Uh, spectacle. So, so basically, this cruise ship took out marine conservationists. Like... The type of people that would be really bummed to see whales getting they, slaughtered. They all, they all brought like cameras to take pictures of said whales. And they were out there for like study. <laughs> they were like yeah. trying to like, like fo- follow a <laughs> whale pod and like learn. And then, they, dude, this, did you guys ever see the movie The Cove? The documentary The Cove? No, I have not. Dude, they showed me this in marine biology uh, first period, uh, senior year, junior year, circa 2011. The Cove is this movie about these Japanese dolphin farmers that go and just slaughter these dolphins every morning in this cove and they're killing them by the fucking I don't know why I'm smiling <laughs> dude and they're just spearing these dolphins blo- this, this cove by the time they're done is bright red with blood See, the thing is though is that it's like yeah you know it's a horrible travesty to do that depending on I'm, what side I, of the aisle you are with can't that. wait for this spin but but you know what they dude if you've ever eaten sushi or anything like you can't that's the evil that's the evil they do huh for no what? Who are you is to say that a dolphin's life is more valuable than a tuna, a tuna? you bigot? I'm a human being who's who's not done the research. I guess they don't I guess they don't use the dolphins for any kind of food at all. So dude, maybe dolphins are dolphins, monkeys and humans are the clo- are the only breed are the only mammals that fuck for pleasure. Dolphins are right <laughs> so there. So we got to protect them. Yeah. yeah. They're little, a horny little fucks, dude. We can't we can, yes. They're smarter what than if, us actually. What if we only ate the dolphins that rape people? Do like, they do that? But I'd like to know what type people. of person they raped. Do, do they do rape people? What if they raped a rapist? Why don't we kill the rape? Why don't we just kill the rape ones? Well, we'll have a fair trial, of course. We'll we'll develop a small claims dolphins. Okay, court. but on that jury needs to be some water mammals. If You're we're right, make this a fair. jury of its peers. So yeah. like a blowfish, an electric eel, a dolphin. Well, I'm a thinking horseshoe crab. Maybe a stingray. That sounds, that sounds like a kangaroo a court, if you ask me. Kangaroo <laughs> court, yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I just want to throw it another animal. You're going to be the best dolphin lawyer in town, dude. That's your <laughs> new profession. Yeah, I specialize in dolphin law. <laughs> dude, the plaintiff, is, uh, the plaintiff is just a walrus. <laughs> <laughs> a walrus would look good in like a suit and a bow. Dude, honestly, I, 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 yeah. literally, before you said that, I imagined a walrus dressed up in a suit and with like a little red tie, you know? Yeah. He's got a little pistol on his hip. <laughs> I like that, dude. Yeah, dude, so this story's crazy. Basically, these conservationists were, like, checking out these these orcas, and they didn't realize a group of about 40 small boats and jet skis pulled up and herded the whales towards the beach where 150 people worked together to hook them onto shore and slaughter them with lances. The hunt lasted over 20 minutes long of them just murdering whales on this beach. This is crazy, yo. That is absurd. Bro, imagine like your whole life is defending dolphins or you know whales what I'm about and they're the getting most? murdered in front of you. You know what I'm laughing? Someone. Yeah, that's, br- kind of, that's kind of like a dolphin laugh you had going. Yeah, it was. I was. I was really channeling it. But you know what I'm laughing at the most is someone brought their kid. You oh. know, you know, check out the whales. You know, someone brought little Jimmy to see their first orca, and and and, and they're probably <laughs> watching the slaughter, not knowing what it is. This is so what whales do. Yeah. 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 Whales just come out here to get fucking killed. Imagine <laughs> bringing your kid. You're like, look, mom does a lot of good work. She saves <laughs> lives. You're gonna see that mommy's a hero today. <laughs> you ready to see what mom does today? You ready to see what mom does for work? Come on. And the kid. <laughs> your mom literally does nothing. Your mom does nothing. <laughs> mom, do kill- something, please. Dude, this reminds me, uh, in the same marine biology class, which, to be honest, is a waste of fucking credentials for the youth now that I'm thinking about it. But there. <laughs> this, was, this was high school marine biology? Dude, I swear to God, three times a week we would just watch Whale Wars. <laughs> That's all he would do. We would sit down, That's and so he was cool. like so fucking hung over. This teacher, yeah. and he would just put on whale. The world is a vampire. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen the show, but it's so funny because it's these fucking dorks 
that like want to be badass like yeah. mariners that are out there saving whales, but they just have no idea what they're doing. And every episode is them failing and watching a whale get fucking dragged up on this <laughs> Japanese. Fuck. Every Fuck, see that dude, one. they consistently <laughs> failed. They consistently failed. They would try to like. They're like we were so close. Yeah, there was one episode where this guy boarded a Japanese vessel to try to stop it, and they just hosed him off. Like they had a man overboard situation. <laughs> they just had to go get him. It's just they they never. It was it was it was honestly it seemed like a show that was promoting Japanese whale hunting. It was not, it was not, didn't seem conservational at all. Have you seen the South Park episode? Jimmy, how do you, how do you think they made this it? green tea? This, they by, by killing all, dolphins? Killing all these whales and dolphins. Hey, uh, can you go let Brian in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, fucking, in, we have yeah, a yeah. very tardy guest, um, which is fine. This fucking idiot, he hits me up. He's like, how, he's like, I'm like, what's your ETA? He's like, how is there traffic at 930? On a People Wednesday. have jobs. When do you they think go to their jobs? When do you think there's traffic? In the morning. That's the, exactly the morning. When, have you heard of the morning commute? But you came here from L.A., dude. So you know. I mean, this is yeah, really I, not. This is this is like this is like little this. leagues almost it in is. comparison. This is, I, I really do enjoy it because like it, talking to people here, they're like, oh, dude, this thing it's kind of far away. It's like 15, 20 minutes away. I'm like, dude, that's so close. Exactly. If something's like far away to regular distance to me, is like a 30 minute drive now. Yeah, Isn't I mean, also, awful? if you live anywhere, like, that's not a city. Like, if I've lived in, yeah. like, Virginia and, like, places like that. Like, that's just, like, dude, going to Walmart's a fucking, sometimes a 25-minute trek yeah. both ways. You just got to deal with it. Dude, and then, like, I went back home once, and I was like, dude, I didn't realize New Orleans was so small. I didn't realize everything was so close together. Like, yeah, Things I, mean, I used to think were far growing up, now it's like, dude, that was, like, a 15-minute drive. As that's far as so I simple. know, New Orleans is one fucking street, dude. Basically. Or you got, there's, like, the Rio Grande, right? Rio Grande Street or something? Rio Grande? I don't know. I don't know that one. What's the street that go the main street that Bourbon Branch is off from? Oh, uh, that's Canal. Canal. All right. I knew yeah. it had something to do with it's water. Basically, two main like kind of going to, into downtown. Two main streets is it's Canal and then St. Charles. Nice. St. Charles. I mean, that's that's now the, talk that's about swamp one. ass, dude. You go to New Orleans. That is some fucking heat. Yeah, there's heat here, but it, it definitely it's it's moister. It's more moist there. And he's walking. And he's walking, what folks. Up? <laughs> he's walking. Take a seat. Welcome. Brian McDuffie was confused that there was traffic on 930 on a Wednesday in the most thriving metropolitan in the country right now, Austin, Texas. Look, no, not the send... most thriving. It's Austin. The, tra- the traffic's fastest not growing. even close Easily to L.A. The fastest growing. Fastest growing, it's, but not Austin best, biggest like metropolitan. The, it's, it's like the pickleball of cities. It's the fastest growing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but it's not like the L.A. Road. traffic or like New York City. It shouldn't be that bad. It's well, nine thirty. L.A. traffic. You're also dealing with a bunch of illegals. You know, there's you get there's, there's more <laughs> there's more you're dealing with there. You don't, you don't think Texas has them too? Yeah, but ours are Bro, hard to work. There was this lady in front of me, right? That was just. It was like one of those things where it's like people got places to go, but not her. It's like she was just chilling, letting cars in front of us, and the whole time I'm just staring at her handicap placard, going Ooh. like, I just want to just. We gotta give Just them a. Boom, we gotta right give the, the handicaps a different road. It it is e- yeah, yeah, it yeah. is easy to hate them once once they once they wrong you in traffic and then yeah. you see that you're like I fucking knew it. Here's I fucking knew you were an old person. Yeah, I'm not. I the, hate you guys. Yeah. Oh, you think old? That's not what I think. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Idiots. Yeah. 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 But I I dude. Oh, do you need some bag boys? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Some bag boys, certainly. <laughs> but I, uh, back, dude. yeah, that was a nice callback, Brian. You missed out on you it. No, no, no. Inside <laughs> joke, dude. I don't even want to be a part <laughs> of it. All right, no, no. Lucky for uh, you, you, you weren't invited. So, <laughs> uh, but no, here's the thing. I, I, I had one grandmother. Well, I had four grandparents, but the only one was living, and she died when I was six. So I, mm. I don't have much exposure to old people. Yeah. So I'm very unempathetic. I think they suck. In yeah, fact, they do. I think there's a certain age limit on life, and then we should just take you out to the pasture. I think there's definitely should be an age limit behind the wheel. 65 seems like a good time to start taking the fucking yeah. bus. You're like Ringo oh, Starr, dude. Go ahead. I've Thank got some bad age limit behind the wheel. This is uh, this is kind of the T my family right now. But uh, dude, my grandmother, we moved her into a home recently. Nice. But like the nice, but like the nice one. It's like kind of like a, it's like a dorm. It's like a college dorm for old people. They're just having parties and drinking yeah. and party. Getting um, STDs. They're, yeah. Yeah, just they're playing just beer pong. Grandma's with fucking. Chlamydia, I like that. Chlamydia is yeah. going crazy at this. Yeah, this you just take place. a pill. It's fine. But um, anyway, so she still has her car there for whatever reason. We have no idea. If she went to go see a doctor without telling anyone. Kia Soul. What? Kia Soul. 
Her trying car? to guess the car. Oh, her car? Yeah. Oh no, she's got one of those those little those Lexus hatchbacks. You know? Nice, nice, nice. You know, that's the that's the grandmother car. That the is Lexus the grandmother hatchback. car. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's like yeah. I know like four grandmothers with that car. At yeah. Least. yeah, she, and, uh, she her her clock has, is is one of those like actual clocks. It's an actual yeah. clock. Yeah. It's got, like a wood <laughs> panel yeah. like center. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, so she can tell the time. It doesn't even move. It doesn't. It's just there for show. But she goes to the doctor and uh, it comes back, and then like her caretaker came by to visit her, like sees her car, the whole like right side of it is just eviscerated. <laughs> yeah. Just like she must have something must have hit her. She must have hit yeah. something. She's fine, thank God. We were like, did she? Did she kill somebody? Dude, like, yeah. is there is there blood on this at all? What no she said when you asked her what happened? She's like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> then you think, <laughs> then you, then you think that must have happened while I was in the car. Does, does grandma have what it takes to just to just hit and run? Does, does grandma oh, have yeah. what it takes to just she, fuck someone? That's like up the and person to do it. You, know? <laughs> it's just, you just rational. It's just a rationalization. So does yeah. she have the power to rationalize? Like that wasn't grandmothers. That wasn't we that. give them a little too many passes. They just get an N word pass. Apparently, <laughs> if you were born and if you were alive a certain amount of time, you could just say it. Oh yeah. That one grew, needs to go yeah, away. You grew up reading Mark Twain. It's fair. <laughs> you know? Dude, she, I read Mark Twain in third grade. I'm not allowed to say it. <laughs> dude, my grandmother, she knows the uh, she knows the feminine of the N-word, dude. <laughs> what? There's, what? There's, what? there's a feminine version of that. <laughs> yeah, times it's have a, changed. It's, it's tigress, but not. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> a little tilde? Crazy. Is there like a tilde? I'm confused. I don't know. <laughs> it's gender specific. <laughs> it is. Dude, you, you go down to you go down to Homa, Louisiana. You it's get like, it. You the most disrespectful things, slur, but you clean it up a little just to make <laughs> them feel. <Yeah>. Like that. <laughs> at least, at least you got their gender right, you know. No, dude, in my neighborhood, uh, uh, we have um, two like two houses down. Like college freshman. Huh? Sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. She's my, uh, a great time. Yeah. That, my, that is a college freshman thing is to yeah. crash your car. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Your well, dad's you like, I know I fucking, shouldn't have left her the car. You guys got her in the dorms, dude, of <laughs> yeah, course. Exactly. Yeah. She's fucking playing beer pong with butterscotch balls, <laughs> dude. It's, it's she's trying to draw the frat. But, um... Uh, we have neighbors, uh, my, my parents, the Howells, shout out to Grandma Pat, their, their grandmother lives with them, and I'll see her zooming up, dude, just blo- fucking white knuckle, tunnel vision, I'm waving at her, she can't see me, we're in a cul-de-sac, and you just, every time I see her car, there's a new ding on it, dude, yeah. these old people need to get off the fucking road. Yeah. I'm a firm believer that old people should be able to drive, like, there needs to be a cutoff, I don't think they need to die, yeah. but like, at, at 70, you need to stop fucking driving. You know, like you need to figure out the Uber app, and that's how you dude, get around from now on. Dad. You know the excuse you know? people always give? It's like, oh, but she, you know, she needs her autonomy. It's like, dude, she needs to not kill anyone. Yeah, yeah. Her, her autonomy. Gonna, no, yeah, yeah. Her autonomy is not worth a family of five. Yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah. If she needs her autonomy, <laughs> get her a get her a Tesla. All right. On the side of a highway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, she got her autonomy. Now there's a new memorial on the fucking 35. That's yeah, great. yeah, yeah. No, but grandma's fine. She, she killed a 17-year-old that was full of life. Yeah, you we know? can't even chew her yeah. breakfast anymore. Why are we yeah, letting her drive? Yeah. This is insane. Yeah. No, I'm a big old grandma, old yeller. There's really no difference. Take him out back. That's how I look at it. Lenny from Of Mice and Men. Brian. Lenny, back Brian, board? you got some Lenny energy. Anyone Do I have Lenny energy? energy? I just want to tend your rabbits, George. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. I'm about to tend you your this. fucking rabbit, my guy. Okay? <laughs> hold on, hold on. That's that sounded sexual, guy. dude. I yeah, like you're that. pervert. I That's like why, that. bro, okay? I'll <laughs> like get this guy over here wearing the little shorts on all them thighs. I don't want to hear all that shit. These are called hoochie daddy shorts, and they're in. I don't know if you pay attention Hoochie to the day. youth. Yeah. Whatever. Is that what you do? You do things that are just in? To appease to the kids. Oh, you must be in your high school yearbook. That's gross. Not mine. That's gross. I'm in the local high school yearbook, if you know yeah. what I mean, pal. Yeah, I know what you mean. Wink, wink. I know what you mean. <laughs> Great state of Texas. I feel you. That's okay. right, dude. Great Try to go to prom again? Yeah, what's the uh, age of consent here in Texas? Can we I have no idea. That? 17. <laughs> <laughs> My parole officer says I'm not supposed to know. We're getting that? You know You know what a real gross one is? It's uh, se- it is 17. It's, oh. A real gross one? <laughs> Japan. Japan. It's like 13. Why does that look like piss? Well, Japan. <laughs> it does look Why like Why does that look dude, like wait, you no. peed in the hey, bottle? Hey, I, I got, it's I got foaming like pee, too. Bottle. It's Yeah, exactly. And it's I, pee yellow. Dude, I was I was stuck outside waiting for Maddie to come open the door, and I realized, like, oh, I look like a homeless pr- I'm just carrying a bottle of my own piss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just standing outside of a business just loitering. Yeah, well, I like how you way. didn't get, like, an Arizona. Like, you had to get, like, the, the I just actual. Say, no homeless person is peeing in a receptacle. No, I don't want to. After you swigged it, no way, piss. dude. That's no. gonna be the most. I'll take. It. I'm a. I'm a bitch. It like what do you guys water, think? What? Where? And what do you think the it's youngest, good, lowest age of consent is in the in the world? Rhode Island, Japan. twelve. <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> 
Hey, you're close. It's Nigeria is 11. 11? Philippines and, and Angola are 12, and the age of consent is 13 in uh, Niger, Comoros, and Bur Burkina Faso. What was that first word you said? I said it right. right. I read it like just, seven yeah, it's times. It's like his grandma. I got know? nervous. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, are you sure that's not the uh, And the age of feminine? consent is 14 in Brazil, Colombia, Peru, Paraguay, uh, Ecuador, and Bolivia. Oh, my God. To your point, though, Japan has this little school. They, they dress these girls up in these little schoolgirl school dresses. Outfits? It's fucking disturbing, quite yeah. frankly. That's disturbing? Could you imagine going to one of those places say, and be like, oh, father what, and daughter. Be, and I can't like, imagine. No, this is my wife. Dude, I had no plans to go to Africa before this. Okay? <laughs> I'll say this. <laughs> you don't want to go to the <laughs> motherland? Schoolgirl <laughs> outfits, weird. The boy outfits kind of go hard. They're kind of cool. Have you seen them? I've seen I'm Tokyo thinking, Drift. Is it like a blazer, yeah. right? Yeah, the, the ones yeah. they wear in like Tokyo Drift. They're like suits. Cool. Yeah, they're they like wear like blazers. Cool suits. Yeah, they're yeah. sick. Yeah, I heard Japan's culture is sick. Well, I mean, we wouldn't fit in, Dude, but I heard hey. it's cool, <laughs> you know? I've always don't, wanted to fit in, but don't, I don't. Hey, don't <laughs> Three like, loud-ass <laughs> white dudes. Don't you let know? Pearl Harbor <laughs> fool you. They're gentle people. I, I had a great time. I mean, we really, you know, we got them back with Nagasaki, and then it was kind of good. And uh, food's great. People are great. Women love awkward white dudes. So we, uh, all three of us, <laughs> telling you, I, I like I like how Are you Americans. I lived there for two years. Oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Real quick, I like how Americans like we dropped the bomb after Pearl Harbor, and then we're like, now it's even. Two bombs, you know? two yeah, bombs. two bombs. Exactly. Actually, you go, yeah. hey, now it's even. You know? Yeah. And you like heard that. that peace park? They really paint us like monsters. So let's not forget <laughs> this was a fucking act of retaliation, dude. Yeah, dude. Right? Yes, they did attack a military base, and we went for the whole village. We went for the schools. Uh, need, you know, need to be reminded of a man named Hideki Tojo, all right? And that guy. Not to be confused with Hideki Matsui, an absolute slugger for the New York Yankees. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Absolute That's who I thought he was dude, talking about was, for a second. I was God, like, baseball? They called, <laughs> him, baseball? They called him Godzilla. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which I don't think would play that's, today, by the way. That's after they've seen his penis, though, you and know? I, and I swear to God, one of the announcers hit him with a Godzilla once. <laughs> 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 I don't know if I'm just, <laughs> I'm just uh, seeing that in my head, but I think they hit him with a Godzilla once, dude. Well, that's that's what it is. It's Gojira. That's that's how you say it. What? Who is that guy? What is he? What happened? Yeah, well, who's your Matsui? No, oh, Hideki Tojo? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> is he a was, samurai? He was like the, the prime minister of Japan during... Oh, during all that. Uh, during, all, during all that. Yeah, Not when to be he got that ass. Admiral, he got, he, he, like, there's a lot of like war crimes. He was that he boys committed. with uh, Admiral Yamamoto. Probably, yeah. Who had the is famous that, is, that giant, is there a battleship called the... The, the Yamamoto? Giant? Yeah. Something like that. I mean, he's the one who... I mean, we don't like him. Wait, yeah. are you guys, like, getting all this information from the hit movie Pearl Harbor? Dude, honestly, all my like info is like probably history? from uh, a, a amalgamation of different anime, honestly. Okay. That's I mean, where I, I kept my World War II. I just watched I, that Ben Affleck movie. That's all I know about <laughs> yeah. Pearl Harbor. No, I was in love the United States Navy and also attended uh, elementary school. So I learned about it before <laughs> the movie. You learned about... World War Two before slavery? What? In elementary school? What are you talking about? What are you why talking are you about? Up, why are you bringing up slavery? Because you don't learn about slavery until eighth grade. Again, are but you? why are you bringing up slavery? Because you said elementary school. I learned about slavery huh? a lot earlier than that, dude. I mean, really? elementary school yeah. is in eighth grade. Also, Am I, I missing something? I learned about what? slavery way before eighth grade. I don't know what the I'm fuck. I'm confused. Dude, I, I, learned about the, I learned about the N-word in second grade. To? But my like in like us. second grade in California, they're like, "Hey, there's this terrible thing called slavery, and we did it." In second grade? Yeah, dude, no, second grade. I, you learn about what? that shit early as fuck. You learn dude, about the war my, early. Dude, my teacher, my nun what? teacher, told us about the N word in second grade. She said it. She didn't tell you about it. She just called somebody the word. No, she <laughs> said, "There's a word you should never say," and it's and she fucking straight up said you it. You formed dude. your mouth for a second. I was like, "He can watch S it." Sister, too. sister Margaritas. She said sister it. Sister Margaritas. Let's go to a so private her, school. Her name, her name is Sister Margaritas. A Hispanic lady. No, she was white. Was it a private Catholic school? Yeah. So this is a okay, white girl appropriating her name. Dropping well, I'd say the a bomb white the matronly youth. woman. Matronly. Yeah. Okay. Bro, what were you guys learning in elementary? You guys weren't learning basic math <laughs> and literature. Yeah, they and were history, and dipshit. In fourth grade, we read the book the the book Holes. We weren't learning about sophisticated by slavery. The way, by and the how way, the world works. You don't think Holes was slavery? They were digging for nothing. No. Yeah. What are you talking about? That is modern is, slavery. Is that what you're talking about? It's all slavery? one big analogy. You know what? I think we just got to the bottom of this. You did learn in slavery. You were just in special ed classes, so they showed you holes, so it would make more sense. You oh, fuck I maybe. just went to public school in Texas, my guy. You know what I'm is saying? Did you go to private school? Uh huh. Did you no, private? I didn't go to private school. Isn't that such a crazy school question? And I went to Look at my shades. I, know. I, you know, I know. went to fucking private school. I, I have, know. I have tattoos on my thigh. I didn't go to private school. I'm cool. All right, it's fair. I, I think you can tell from this that I went to private school. <laughs> yeah, 100%. <laughs> I'm I'm pissed, pissed, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You combed your hair this morning. You obviously went to private school. 
Yeah, in California state curriculum, you're supposed to be taught about slavery in the Civil War in fourth or fifth grade. See, you guys had Alamo. We had gold I rush. Went, I, I, I went to California public I'm fourth just, and fifth grade. It, it is yeah, funny to we, think that someone had to decide read, what age. We read right? the Constitution, Nine. but we exactly. weren't learning about Nine. slavery. I just think you weren't paying attention. I think this is a you thing. No, I, re- I would remember that. You I know, know I think, I think sitting in fourth grade and they're like mind. talking about slavery. Believe. You had a bad teacher. Yeah, because I'm telling you, I remember learning about that shit like pretty early on. You know, Martin Luther King Day. You learn about the importance of all that. Would you think Martin Luther King just gave a dope speech and we had Mondays off for him? <laughs> he just thought, oh, no, well, you weren't learning about Mondays. the bombings. No, Brian things, thought he was the you know? first guy to ever have a dream. <laughs> he was like, he's <laughs> oh, he invented dreaming. That's so I sick. have a dream. What it is is you go to sleep and you think. And you think while you're sleeping. <laughs> I still have a dream. It's you get off school. You have all these day, aspirations while the, sleeping. The have real, you guys heard of this? His real dream was a barbecue in, in, in February or January. When, when's, the, when's the holiday? No, it was actually about breakfast. You know, I was just excited to wake up. You yeah, know? yeah. Oh, let's get some fucking cakes in me, dude. Also, and I don't want to slander the man, but wasn't he historically uh, fucking white women behind his lady's back? Is That's a great cool? way to start. I don't want to slander him, but. Here's some slander. Wasn't he doing that? <laughs> Wasn't he adulterous? <laughs> I know he Wasn't hated he the gays. I do think, by the way, I think if you uh, are the the leading activist in civil rights, you're allowed. You to, get a couple passes. Yeah, you get some passes. For I sure. don't think that should taint I your agree. fucking. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, if he was fucking white women, man, that's just him to, trying to yeah. like cure racism. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's like, if I can just bring this together and show that it's all right, I'm ahead of the game. You know? That's, that's, that's a real integration. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. That's how you prove you're not racist. Interracial relationship. You know? People are like, oh, I see ya. But I mean, Jackie Robinson was pretty cool. Yeah, he's the best. I think he's, he's the coolest. I think he's equally did as much as Martin Luther King. Is that fair to say? I mean, Martin you know, Luther Martin, 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 that, Martin Luther King. I don't, know. I don't know. I don't Martin know. Martin Luther say. King said, without Jackie Robinson, he wouldn't have been able to do what he did. Oh, what? like you know what I'm saying? Because think about it. Jackie Robinson was the first like representation. You know, he's another and like, thing and the like black taking community's the first not, step. He's another thing the black community's not going to like. Jackie Robinson was out at home. I've watched the tape. They just they couldn't review it back then. What the umpire said, you know what I'm talking about when he stole home, mm. out by a mile. It was like a legendary right. play. Jackie Robinson stole home. This is very awkward. That you see, I don't know. Home. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think. I I bet you he was safe. He I was bet out. you. Because think about it, the umpire's a white dude. I he doesn't even like him. Steal home, you know? That was my thought. He doesn't like him, so he's already like not giving him like an advantage, yeah. you know. And to do it, he's like, I can't lie here. You're That's a you're good safe. Point. That was great. That was a great play. I love that. You know. You watch some of those old like baseball, like uh, like if you watch like the second World Series, you're there's some slurs in the announcements. Really? Oh, you'll hear them. I mean, there's a slur announcement recently. Remember that guy? He was talking about the uh, and Castellanos you know, with a bomb. That guy, like, no, the, the, guy, the guy, I was talking about the, the Negro League Museum. And oh then he yeah, and he straight, straight up, up said drops the N-word. Oh nice. Yeah, he straight up said the wrong. On like word. live broadcast. <laughs> that one was crazy. No, on live television. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Jackie Robinson is out by a goddamn mile. Dude, he really? Was, oh, holy shit! I'll, I'll, here, Brian, I'll hand you. I'll show you the laptop. And we'll insert it into the pod we'll if we can. Him, play the tape. Like, play the tape. Come, come, I mean, look, he he is coming home. Here's Dude, the pitch. I, don't know, I, don't I mean, that ball is there. Oh, he was out. He Bro, he is so out. The ball is so there. That's way uh, you see Yogi no. Berra behind the plate, dude. He was pissed. It pissed, and the, yo, I think the umpire called safe before he even seen the play. Yeah, because he doesn't move either. Because he's just still behind the catcher. You know what I'm saying? And he was just like so mind blown. Like, did this man just try to steal home? Yeah. I this doesn't happen. Not with the whites, you know. Yeah, that was impressive. He saved. Well, know? back then they were just used to black people stealing. I think. You know? <laughs> I tried to make that. Yeah, I went earlier. It, it, fell, it fell flat. <laughs> it was right there. It was. Right I, I was. There. I was. I was a mile off in that one. <laughs> um, Brian, we saved this one for you. We got a very fun otter story. That otter. you've been holding out on me over there, dude. What is that? Like a gay otter or an animal otter? What? Um, hold on. Hold that thought. What the hell is a gay otter? <laughs> dude, fucking step that's your one, life up, bro. It's one of the bro. classes of gays. Yeah. Oh, really. Yeah, it bears, like the gay bears, guy knows. Otters. Right, so, so this is what I know. Is weasel one? Is that is that, <laughs> make, is that just one? Of, a weasel just a, a gay that snitches. Yeah, he's like an in the closet guy that tells everyone Wait, you're is an gay. Otter you know? the same as a twink? We need an expert. No, Brian, is <laughs> hey, Jamie, will you look that yeah, up? Let's, yeah, let's let's Why? talk to our LGBTQ is an otter the same thing as a twink? Uh, the internet says no. Okay. All right. <laughs> That's a guy that did not look it up. 
<laughs> I thought we were doing a bit earlier where you were like, look up that like Japanese people like milk. And I was like, it does say they like milk. <laughs> <laughs> are you actually asking me to look up if an otter and a twink are the same Do thing? Do they like no, milk? No, I wanted to know. I don't remember. No, I wanted to know if gay people like it cold. If they like what? That was, they like that was what, yeah. yeah. If just they the, like the cold? Like the cold. Just if gay and black people cold. like the cold. Like the weather. Okay. And so I jokingly Googled it and said, yep, the internet says they love it. And I thought that's what we were doing again. Do you want me to actually look? It's like a, an otter, a twink, like a term that's like twink is yeah. what you're saying? Yeah. yeah. What's well, the well, gay well, definition well, well, of an otter? Term, is, is a twink the same thing as an otter? I feel like they got to be similar. Uh, they got to be the same realm. I'm just you know? what an otter it's, is. No, it's more a gay otter is more closer to a bear. It's otters typically have the body hair much like bears but are smaller in frame and weight. So it's like a mini bear. What do you what do you what do you call a hairless gay? What's a hairless? That's got to be a seal. A naked mole rat. No, no. This, <laughs> come on, come on. I like how you're answering like it's a test. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know? What do you want me to look up? What's the term for a hairless it's gay? It's just a smaller man. Because all the terms seem to, seem to be animals. Bank on. I like how they categorize them like this. You know, it's like oh, you're like you're hairy like a bear, but you're small. Here, so you're like an otter. It's like, it's like, what, it's like <laughs> what Harry Potter house are you? But it's like, how do you, a gay who do you pilot? fuck? Who do you like? Yeah. Fuck yeah, it doesn't care about your intelligence level, just what you look like. You know, <laughs> gay pilots and eagle. You know? Yeah, yeah, gay pilot of the eagle. Or a, yeah. Maybe a condor. I think it's a little gayer than an it's eagle. A, a twink is a hairless. That's just the okay. term. Okay. They don't get a fun animal term okay. unless a they twink get, is an animal. They just get what, what, uh, what, in, what in three years will be a slur. Mark my words. Twink's going away. That's the next well, one. Oh, it's, it, was it, twink was kind of that was kind of a way that was kind of in the in the Disney vault. For a while, and they, and they <laughs> kind of, they kind of, they, they, they repurposed it. Yeah, I feel like. yeah, yeah. They, yeah, they, what, they what, blocked it away in the Disney Vault. Yeah, it, it got released reimagined. Is Re- that what they <laughs> say? <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, you know the Disney Vault, right? Yeah, I know the Disney Vault. Okay, but all was right. Twink hidden? Was that a hidden thing? No, it just like it used to be. That was that was a slur. Yeah, and then they oh, kind of re- slur. They kind of reclaimed it as like their term. Yeah, I think it's like queer. Queer I mean, it's still a slur now. I call my straight friends twinks all the time, you know? Yeah, but... And it hurts them. You can see it in their face. It hurts. They don't like it. Shout yeah. out to Kyle Dowdy. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Kyle might be an otter, yeah, you know? Yeah, he might be an otter. from the hair, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he might be an otter. Speaking of otters... He'd probably be like, no, I'm a fucking bear, dude. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, speaking of otters, there was there's an otter that they're calling Otter841. Is I like that he has his own code name. It's like Lilo and Stitch. Yeah, I was, I was just thinking that. <laughs> Come on, we're the There's a label. five-year-old female otter up in Santa Cruz that is stealing surfers' surfboards and other items from swimmers, and they've officially issued it as 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 a safe as a public safety risk because of its unusual aggressive behavior. So they're trying to catch this otter because it just keeps coming into water and stealing people's shit. Dude, like fucking hats, that otter has no glasses, bro, surfboards. Bro, or, the mo- or the most chill. He's just stealing a bunch of sunglasses and surfboards. Yeah, yeah dude. <laughs> but that's the chillest board. otter ever. Yeah, back at his little den. <laughs> his, his little dam is just... A, he's using these surfboards to make a dam in the ocean. This is Laird Hamilton of uh, otters. Yeah, dude, imagine <laughs> paddling out. You got, your, you got your girl on the beach looking hot in a bikini. You paddle out and you're just like... <laughs> Doggy paddling back. She's like, "What the fuck happened? An otter stole my surfboard back there." You, you can't. Not, you can't. You have to lie. Yeah, you, you have, have to lie. At that yeah, point. you got to tell You're her. Like, that, yeah, yeah. Fucking. I think like the <laughs> Loch Ness monster. Or Maybe something. I swear it was a sea lion. <laughs> I swear. You know what's awesome too is it's a rehabilitated, born in like uh, aquarium otter. So it was born oh. in Monterey. So it's a spoiled little bitch. That's what, what it is. is. Yeah. So that's why oh. he's got the. Uh, that's why he's got the eight. He's literally a numbered otter. Yeah, five years ago he was born in the Monterey Bay Aquarium, and they released him obviously into the wild or her into the wild. He's just rebelling against the system. Yeah. So maybe, maybe, maybe this just goes to show some of them belong in fucking captivity. Jesus, yeah. dude. Yeah. I've seen. Yeah. I went to. Uh, like this we place gotta get called- rid of this thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it hey, keeps fucking things up in the they, aquarium. They released her in 2020, so for two years she wasn't a problem, and then she just became a oh, wait. fucking. Oh wait, menace. it's a girl, dude. I hate this otter now. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> when I thought yeah. it was a dude, I was like, that's so chill. So she's going through a phase. Which yeah. is, it's kind of crazy to me because, like, surfers are the toughest people I know. Like, they're just out there, like, they're like, oh, really? yeah, this, that's Dude, a you shark. you have some horrible takes sometimes. What do you mean? Like, you, know, you know tough surfers? <laughs> what, you don't? 
I know some like <laughs> dudes that might be like on the what? spectrum surfers, dude. Like the sun, the sun is just like bro. They're just out there chilling. They see sharks, they don't freak the out. The sun and the ocean have just like kind of warped. Their That's brains. the toughest dude I know. They see sharks, they're like, yeah, that's just part of being a surfer. Okay, the toughest dude I know is a guy that can take a shark. Not a guy. Who that do just, you know that could take a shark? Uh, someone that isn't dumb enough to sit out there and wait for one. They're not waiting. They're having. They're they're doing an activity that they love. And I'm not just saying they're to be pussies, part of it. but I can think of three career. A fucking oil rigger is tougher than a surfer. They don't fight sharks. So don't surfers. What do you what do you think? You they know do you know, you know who fights sharks? The Japanese. The Japanese fight <laughs> the sharks. The Japanese fucking now fight sharks. The shark. Japanese. They lance them. That's a different <laughs> story, dude. They're going out there with spears, taking yeah, these things on. True. Yeah. Maybe a katana. You you gotta imagine one guy has brought out. A katana, a katana with them to, well, to, to, see, to fight the shark. To fight sharks or fucking like. That's why, my boy this why killer Sonic. whales are trying Where to fuck us up now. <laughs> it's because of shit like this, you know. Yeah. That's why they're pissed at us. Yeah, I've been seeing now these the whales are revolting. This I've been is game whales over. ramming boats. Dude, that's what we need. We need to we need to hire the Japanese to just like kill like water animals we don't like. It's like, yo, we got this otter that's causing problems. Do you think that's where the otter and learned be it like, from? We got yeah. it. <laughs> they just roll it up in some rice and put some teriyaki sauce on it. <laughs> <laughs> dude, they could probably cook the shit out of an otter, honestly. Yeah. 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 Well, dude, in, you in, think you in, could in, eat in Asian cultures, I, I, if if you could, the Jabbies could figure out how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> they could figure out how to do it. I mean, dude, they, in other countries, like when I was yeah, in dude. Dubai, <laughs> get some shoyu sauce yeah. on there. <laughs> when I was in Dubai, I, w- I was served kangaroo. When I was in Japan, I was offered horse. Like other countries eat wild meat. I was the horse was seems kind of lean. It's Wait, you didn't try it? I can't eat a horse. Old Buttercup? I can't do that. <laughs> oh, but what's what's the weirdest meat you've eaten? Uh, kangaroo. Yeah, yeah I, I, was also had a, I had a chicken testicle, which oh. I was informed on that after eating it. That's probably. But the was best it good? Way. That's probably the best way to learn. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. fine. Um, how was the kangaroo? Kangaroo was fine. I mean, how was it prepared? It was like a little sl- a little fillet. It was weird, man. Was it yeah, like I a nice gator. place, or was it like? And you could tell in the meat that they that you could tell how they get their hop. You know, you could feel it was pungent. Yeah, yeah. You, know, yeah. you could feel where they get their ba- <laughs> where yeah, they get yeah. their bounce. You from. You feel it. some explosion in I there. I understood immediately. I was like, I get it. Yeah. I think I had some tail. I think I had a t- cut of the tail. <laughs> Wait, really? No. Oh. Yeah. Let me get some of that pouch. Let me get some pouch. Also, people don't know this about the marsupials. They think these kangaroo pouches are a little cute little Joey sitting there. That's a fucking full-on vagina. That's disgusting. Really? Yeah, dude, it's, yeah. Yeah, man. It's like you're getting probed It sounds gross. Yeah. It really, that pouch sounds gross. Yeah, I mean, it's not a fun time. I, you can't imagine. I don't think there's an AC in there. I don't think there's airflow. Yeah. I don't think there's I, a, I heard it's that still some kangaroos cool will, 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 like, when they're in danger, will just throw their children at the danger and run away. People do that too. Really? Every case people Anthony. do. <laughs> oh, it's, you know, an animal's an animal, dude. Yeah. We'll uh, we'll sacrifice our young if need be. If I gotta, we talked about uh, recently some some kid. Uh, he had a, a, a grenade from his grandfather, a World War II memorabilia, and it blew up on him in a Walmart. Do you remember that? We talked about this news story a couple weeks back. And he just like, carried it on at all times? That's what I thought, too. Why bring it to a Walmart? That's what I'm saying. It's like, it's like you're Why just... pick it up? That's, that's the grandfather knowing that his son's not going to make it in this world, so yeah, he gave yeah. him the grenade as the gift. He gave him the easy way this out. Was, this was the test. This yeah. is like, if he doesn't pass the grenade test, he's yeah. going to either thing, survive or die. There's yeah. one thing you don't do. <laughs> <laughs> like, shows him how to pull the pin. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> now, don't do this. Yeah. That's the yeah. thing. Yeah. You don't pull the pin, you're fine. Uh, hey, son, you want to see a fun game? You pull the pin, let go, then you close it again. <laughs> Meanwhile, his Beyblade in his backpack is having to pull the <laughs> clip off. Like, no. <laughs> That's Beyblade. I would love to have, like, a grenade on a yo-yo and just fuck with someone. Ooh, it's coming. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just walk around with that for fun. The cat's cradle with the grenade. Walking the dog. <laughs> People are like, do you want to die? No, I'm helping. Or do you remember those, uh, those things where it's like you had the two sticks and the wheel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like a, like a Chinese yo-yo or something. <laughs> <laughs> I love how whenever we didn't understand yeah. something, we were just like, yeah, yeah that's like a Chinese uh, insert with the yeah. name of the yeah. thing. It's like, what are these, these people are running around their car for? It must be a Chinese fire drill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that you guys makes are fascinated sense. with the Asian yeah. culture, dude. Dude, wait, <laughs> how'd you, why'd you just cut the line like that? You just Chinese cut the line. Yeah, it, yeah I think that was like a Chinese cut. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you cut someone behind them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. Do you remember this move in like the, when you were, wa- I don't know if you guys did this, but like you're walking to the cafeteria. So you hit 
talking about? <laughs> I never had the strength. Yeah, that was exclusive to Helmer's Elementary. <laughs> <laughs> so shouts out to the Huskies. I mean, it's nice to know that Chinese cutting wasn't just a regional thing. That just seemed like a whole nationwide Chinese thing. Chinese cut, dude. What else do they do? Uh, Chinese orange chicken, love it. <laughs> You gotta watch out for those peppers. Fing- those finger traps, man. Like they instead of just using your words. You hey, you know what sucks? The the Chinese fire drill. I wanted to see where that came from, and there was a British and Chinese like ship that worked together, and the British never practiced fire drills for if the engine caught on fire, but the Chinese did, and they were like, "That's a cool idea," and then it just became like a negative thing. But it was actually just the Chinese being like, hey, we should prepare if our Oh, we took fire, fire drills from the Chinese? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> of course we did. And then made it like a negative, like a Chinese fire drill sounds like a negative thing. But it was really them that like. Sounds, it sounds like a sex, like a sex thing. Yeah, it's just them being smart. Like the British were like, whoa, that's really, you guys have like a plan to like get out of here if there's a fire? We should do that. And that's basically <laughs> how it started. Dude, the fire drill, you just put alcohol on your cock and just. Fucking driller, dude. Wait, if there, yeah, if, if there is a, a <laughs> if there is a fire on a boat, what do you do? Jump in the water and just, and then what? No, you put the fire out. Swim away and then from the fire to where? Like I mean, in the navy, we had full-on firefighting teams on board. Like really, yeah, on fires, the ship. Yeah, there's fires all. The, I was a part of a fire too. Was, was there ever a fire on the yeah, ship? All the time. All the time. How big the, the fire? Like, I, I was why? the biggest fire you had. It's just like like there'll be like like engines will like combust and there'll be like they're very compartment like a navy ship is designed to not sink and not fuck up and like anytime yeah. something happens is so there's something's fucked you can just kind of like cut it off from the yeah I mean you can drown it with a triple F and like all this shit that's you guys see those commercials with like the veterans AAA. that are like if you've, you were in the military from this to this and you aqueous film forming foam it's what comes out of a uh, and it causes a fire cancer or something kind of yeah it causes cancer and I was. <laughs> I bathed. I bathed. I, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. fucking serious. We used to have phone parties. In oh it. my god, dude! I mean, yeah. <laughs> there might be a fucking lawsuit for your boy, dude. So, are you, is there a lawsuit? Is I that real? Know. Right now, I feel pretty healthy. Unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, I'm, a, I'm, I'm quite the specimen. But the, 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 the second any health problem arises, like it's that AV, it's that AVF, yeah, dude. Do I get a cough? <laughs> Fuck you, Uncle Sam. I'm coming. We're just gonna <laughs> catch you walking sideways one day, Matty. What's wrong? Like, this is just I what just, I, no, I will walk now. It's 2023, <laughs> Brian. I identify as a crab now. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. You're That's like the funny. new Hummer. You're like, all right, dog. Yeah. All right. So, uh, I don't know, dude. What's, uh, let's see. Let's. See. Oh, dude, AI just generated like a contemporary version of the Mona Lisa. Did you guys see dude, this? <laughs> I laughed so fucking dude, hard. She at that. is. Dude, she's cake. stacked, dude. She's got some chest cake dude, on her. Well, like, nice. AI generated a present day Mona Lisa and I just swipe the slide and she says tits. I'm dude, like, nice. that's all they changed. I took nice. a picture. Brian, I got you. Oh, they're they're like nice. That. Dude, yeah. she's got gelatin bowls. She looks like the AT&T there, girl. Milk oh, wagon. Oh, Lily. I yeah, love dude, Lily. Like Lily. I love dude, Lily. Bro, they gave her milk wagons. Scud <laughs> missiles, Brian. <laughs> Tractor beams. Look at these fucking and I go grayscale on my phone now so disregard that. Oh, and she's Latina. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Big ass titties and eyebrows. Huge Hell titties, yeah, dude. dog. Hell yeah. They made dog. her a fucking porn star. Brian, are you, are you, Brian, are you looking at it? <laughs> Those are nice. Of check cor- out, check out the AI contemporary. Of Mona course, Lisa. that's like, like, oh, fucking the present day one just has her tits out. Yeah. Tits out. I think. It, I feel like, like that. They kind of gave her like a choker Lisa situation a on the on the bosom. And now I feel the, like the, that takes away like the 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 mystery of the Mona Lisa now, you know. I don't. Yeah, of you're not course, you had to only fans it up. The yeah. mystery is is like you know the emotion in her face. This one, you're just staring at her tits. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the mist. Yeah. There's so many. There's so many nuances to her fucking <laughs> yeah. her breasts. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um. Yeah. They. Uh, why? Okay. Is the Mona Lisa the first portrait? trying to figure out why it's famous because it's objectively a shitty picture of an ugly woman well i mean c- there's like a I lot of like, am i out of line am i out of pocket no there's like a lot of mystery to it you know what i'm saying who it no one knows who she is is she smiling she is she name. not smiling she has a name yeah, yeah but I, like I no one knows the, the, who the it's about the techniques he used to paint it are very advanced she doesn't have I eyebrows i call this one the long stroke <laughs> this one right here wait for it the short stroke Maybe maybe you can see it in person. I don't know. Have you seen it in person? Apparently, it's even less. Uh, <laughs> um, it's even more underwhelming in person. Really? It's it's very is that is that the painting where people throw soup on it? Yeah. Is that the loofah, right? What is it? That's that's the loofah. Loof? 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 And loof? you're the thinking loof. of the sunflower, which is also in Paris, but that's uh, that's Van, Van Gogh sunflower. Boys, yeah. can I drop a hot they take? They threw the soup on that. That one's kind of beautiful. Can I drop yeah. a hot take? Art overrated. 
Art sucks. Not every art. Comedy, obviously, fantastic. <laughs> Movies, Dude, I like action. that. <laughs> Reality shows, great art. Painting. Jersey Shore, loved it. Yeah. But actual art and skill, I'm disgusting. So sick of paint. <laughs> Ugh. You know, one painting I saw in person, pretty cool. Uh, Kronos eating his child. Can you look that up? <laughs> Oh, I like that one. You like that I one, like you know? that one, yeah. When he's just ripping the fucking head off. Yeah, <laughs> one time I had a... Kronos, had he's a, the guy, he's the Marvel dude. No, so Kronos was the uh, was the titan of... Uh, Seven. He's not of the guy with the... The god of time. So, the god of time. He's fucking... He was like the, the guy father the of Zeus and stuff. Thanos. Oh. I was thinking of Thanos. Yeah, no, no. My one bad. time I was... Uh, Endgame. One Avengers time I was hooking up with this chick, and, she, and I asked her, like, what her favorite things to do are, and she said, I want you to shoot your load in my mouth and then i want to spit it back into yours back into your mouth and i was like that's my line but that's the painting i thought about i was like that's what i feel like like i'm eating my own children where are you, know? you finding these women <laughs> dude i don't know man that is grotesque just out in the wild <laughs> yeah. oh, oh excuse me it's saturn devour Sa- yeah saturn, saturn yeah. is the roman name of chronos show him the picture real quick by uh, by goya this is what I felt like, Maddie, when she br- when she told me this. <laughs> That's how I felt. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! That's a sick painting, right? Yeah. Oh my god! You've seen that in person? Yeah. And you know what? You, here's here's what pisses me off when you go when you go look at a painting and some fucking yeah. art cuck walks up to you and says, "How does it make you feel?" feel. Yeah. Like I'm looking at a fucking painting. That's how <laughs> it makes me feel. I'm yeah. not and I'm not motivated. Yeah, no. I'm gonna go eat a fucking. Yeah, I'm, and now I want to find some adrenochrome. That's yeah. how I'm feeling. My favorite thing is to look at the price, and then I'm like, oh, I feel so poor. You know, yeah. I could never afford that. Who buys this? Dude, Ten thousand dollars for squares? I've been oh, for, oh, yeah, for oh, or, yeah. I was about to say that's probably priceless. That's oh, probably, that, yeah, that yeah. The um, the most passive aggressive thing I see in these Austin coffee shops are these art like that are that on they're the for wall. S- that are for sale for fucking sale and, and then the price that they put on them is like I'll pay 10 bucks yeah it's like $300 it's like $3, no $3,000 for a fucking for a photo of a chicken nugget <laughs> I don't <laughs> Wait, want it what, what, how well it was pastel so. okay that's pretty cool yeah pastel it was nugget, pastel yeah. Dude, a pastel yeah. nugget ooh yeah uh, we're rounding over an hour here I don't know if you guys got anything Fun or exciting to talk about. It's getting hot. Back of the knees are just pooling up. I can go for another three, but I don't know how we're feeling. <laughs> that, dude, that, qu- that, qu- that quarter addy is fucking Dude, the quarter addy is just now starting to. I'm reaching high octane. <laughs> hey, what is a quarter addy? I took a quarter of an Adderall this morning. Oh, I'm, I'm about, okay. I got like a, okay. an hour and a half of sleep. I mean. Dude, was that just me that was confused? You know what that was? I like that you thought it was like, he was like, what's a quarter addy? Like, I thought it was, it was a, a thing. Word yeah, I thought it was. <laughs> I was like, is that like a drug I don't know about? Like, I like you missed it. You, you, it, it has been fun because they've made a lot of callbacks in this episode to yeah. when you weren't here, and I've watched you. Have you watched my face? <laughs> Have you watched like, my <laughs> face? I <laughs> know. <laughs> Half the time I just been like, uh huh, <laughs> looking <laughs> around. Like what? Was really fu- yeah. <laughs> For a while, I was like, they hate Japanese people. Like what the fuck? No, <laughs> no, no quite you missed the a contrary, lot. dude. Love Japanese yeah, I people. Love, I love them, dude. Um, <laughs> don't. I, I drink their piss. <laughs> <laughs> I'm drinking their piss right now. Yeah. I love when people like say they love specific races. Like, how many of them yeah. do you know? Oh, I <laughs> you love know? gay Filipino men. Dude. Like, did you guys ever like know Italian people? See, the thing about the Italians is they're kind of everywhere. They're scattered about. Yeah, but I don't know. Like, but also, they're like so mafia, different depending on where you find Italian people. Like, oh, I've never American? met like Italian life Americans? beater. Yeah, spaghetti eating. Yeah, dude, because you ah, mama me. I never met. I was that. born. You never, been, you never met those guys. Northeast. Never, you gotta never. go to the northeast. Yeah, yeah, they're not here or where no. I'm from. I've never seen them. No, you never been to Olive Garden? They're in there. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I fancy think making the minestrone. I fancy uh, Olive Garden. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you think stirring the soup back there, dude? <laughs> no, that's a Mexican. It's old dude. Pl- no, it's Pasquale, Close, dude. But, it's know? old Pasquale. Yeah, you had to make a trip like the fucking New Jersey. Yeah, check them out. Actually, don't do that. Go to New York. New Jersey, officially the armpit of America, I think. It even sits right where the armpit would be if it was a, if America yeah. was a person. Like if you made it into a drawing of a yeah. person, it'd be the armpit. It'd be a boxy yeah. dude. But have you guys been to Jersey? Yeah. You don't like it? I left quick. Really? Well, I mean, I swe- I got really sweaty in Jersey. I remember that. I remember going to Dunkin' Donuts and everyone raving like it's not everywhere else in America. Yeah. And I heard it's not and good. It's a, and it's like the same. And well, I, I heard I think Dunkin' someone Donuts. Hit me with, I'm walking here, and I'm like, All oh, right, that's dude, that's is, cool. I like that. Yeah, it's that, cool though. in New York City, but if you do like it in New Jersey, though. you're a cunt. You didn't say anything back, like fuck you or nothing. No, I, I'm educated. <laughs> okay. I'm not from New Jersey. I walked away and I kept my fucking head held high. <laughs> kept walking. I don't need this. But uh, <laughs> fellas, so this episode will drop tomorrow evening. If you got anything to plug, plug it now. 
Dude, I wish I had something to plug. That tight little asshole, dude. Fucking, yeah, dude. That was going to be my plug. <laughs> uh, it, no, it's, it's been plugged this whole time, actually. Brian, you have a weekly show. Plug it. No. Brandon, you will have the same weekly show. <laughs> All right. Plug every it. Wednesday night at Rocky's Piano Bar in Round Rock, Texas. Wednesdays at 8.30. Thursdays, 10 p.m. It. Creek Cave Live. And uh, any listeners in California, August 19th, come to the Shop Comedy Show in Brea, California. None of these guys will be there, but I'll be there. So come on out to that. That's all I have to plug. That's all I have to plug, he said. Hey, uh, sorry I'm the only one who came prepared with plugs here. Let's see. If uh, one person shows up, that's a victory. What, you what date is Saturday? Saturday would be the 29th. Saturday, July 29th, I'll be hosting the People You Know show at Sunset Strip, 9 p.m. It's going to be a fucking banging it's be show. A good show. Get your uh, Nether Hour will be closing it out. Austin local band. Get your tickets at sunsetstrip.com. August 12th, Monk's Jazz Club. That's all I got. That's all I got. Oh, uh, wait. I got um, <laughs> uh, August 29th um, is my uh, is my quarterfinal for Funniest Person in Austin. <laughs> <laughs> I got 10 free tickets. If you want to come support me and only me, hit me up at Eganism on dude, Instagram. <laughs> you get all the co- Captain's Dogs listeners to come and not vote for you. That'd be hilarious. Dude, I, dude, I would love that. So I would funny. love that. Go and pencil me in. I'm not. I I, I I got eliminated first round. I'm not I'm talking shit over you. I'm not even in it. <laughs> but go and pencil me in. Um, that's it from the dogs, Br- Brian. We couldn't have done it without you. Thanks. Thanks man. for coming. Appreciate bro. it. Coming. Shout out to our producer Brandon Lejean. Uh, Captain's Dogs. Woof woof. Woof, woof. woof fucking woof. <laughs>